been a while since I last made my way up here. Oh, look at this place! We're so high up! Need any help? <laughs> As you wish. That's a nice spot, isn't it? What a great view! We're so high up, we can see for miles! Traveler. Turn around. This is my secret base. Somewhere I only bring my best friends. <laughs> when I was a student, I used to slip away and climb up here all the time, just to clear my head. I was quite young then, and hadn't made too many friends yet. Back then, I had a lot of the same questions that Sethos was asking. Who am I? Why do I have this power? And what should I be fighting for? Our gifts help us to find a rightful place in the world. That was my experience. And I'm sure Sethos will figure things out in his own time, too. <laughs> you two really are like brothers. I feel the same way. <laughs> of course. I see no need to be humble when it comes to the facts. I still remember one time when we came up here to chat and do our homework. Sino accidentally dropped a fruit. Luckily, he has fast reflexes, so he caught it just in time. That was the one and only time. Nothing will ever slip through my fingers again. <sighs> Those were good times. I kind of miss the student life. You know, Paimon really shouldn't be able to imagine Sino doing something like that, but for some strange reason, the mental image is coming through clear as day. Then make it stop. Hmm. There's somebody there. Uh, it's Professor Cyrus. You guys carry on without me. I'll be right back. Okay. How stupid I look in this one. <sighs> Professor, what are you muttering to yourself about? Sino, <laughs> just the man I'm looking for. Guess what I found in some old notebooks. <sighs> some old photos? Can you believe it? This notebook was just sitting in a pile of odds and ends in the Sage's office. I must have forgotten to take it with me, and no one's touched it since. It was still right there. I was at the Academia earlier to discuss my workload with Nephis. I swung by the old office to have a look around and just happened to cross it. Oh, time flies. Look how tiny you are in this picture. Still a kid. You look quite young yourself in that one. Ah, it's this one. I remember that. Lisa took it, didn't she? Yep. Looks like her work, all right. <laughs> Who else could have found just the right angle to make me look so unbelievably hideous? And this one. Looks like we're both dozing off. Oh, <laughs> cheeky girl. Taking secret photos of us without our knowledge. Is there something you'd like to say to me, Professor? Like what? Like, these are good photos, aren't they? <sighs> hey. At moments like this, I... I hardly know where to begin. 
I can't pretend I'm a good person. But Moon had every reason to despise me. And well, so do you if you feel the same way. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, you old codger. Ugh. Is that not what you wanted me to say? Oh, I've dreamt of that place many times after leaving the desert. Sometimes I've dreamed that I was doing research with them again. And other times, I dream of the day they saved my life. Oh, it was one of the happiest times of my life. We all learned so much from one another. You've matured so much over the years, I know. Since you're my professor, I should save you some face by not calling you out on all the non-answers you just gave. So, I will do the right thing and keep my mouth shut. Hmm. <laughs> Good thinking. Take your own advice next time. Seriously, why bully an old man like me? I thought heroes were supposed to be gracious. Hey, wait. Uh, how did I not notice this one earlier? <laughs> Lisa strikes again. Just how many did she take? Look how cute you were when you were little. <laughs> I remember how well-mannered you were back then, too. Yeah, and look how serious and professional you used to be. Oh, I can't compete with you anymore. First you get better than me at the deadpan jokes, and now you're besting me at those little quips, too. <laughs> Don't say that. I still have a lot of respect for you. <laughs> That's more like it. Hey, what would you say to meeting up with Lisa again sometime? <laughs> I'd like that. Let's find a time and pay her a visit in Mondstadt. All right, I'll add it to my schedule. Let's go next week. Wait, no. Next week is the tomato growing competition. I have got to beat Zaha Hadi. Or you could find a real hobby, Professor. Great view today. This atmosphere calls for a joke out of left field, to catch the listener unawares. Time has passed too quickly. The children have all grown up. But it turns out grown-up kids are no use. When Nephis comes after me, Sino still can't do anything to protect me. Oh, that boy. There are still so many... Future is safe in the hands of the younger generation. 